Yesterday, Hyundai were premiered the Ionic 5, which is the direct competition for this Model Y. Did not have chance to see or test drive Ionic 5, but let me just compare the dimensions and designs against this Model Y for today. So Model Y is compact SUV from the Tesla. It not only shares its platform with Model 3, but it also shares about 75% of parts with Model 3. So yes, this is essentially a race Model 3 with higher roof line. Comparing the front design, Model Y seems a bit roundish and even plain to my eyes. But on the other hand, Ionic has strong lines that looks more futuristic. So guys, do let me know which front design you prefer in the comment section. And we have some uneven gaps here and there. So I think if Ionic 5 comes out with Hyundai's usual fit and finish quality, I think Ionic 5 will be better built car than Model Y. Okay, let's get the numbers out of the way. Long range Model Y has 75 kilowatts hour battery pack inside. But on the other hand, Ionic 5 long range model has 73 kilowatts hour battery pack inside. Both do have dual motors and this long range Model Y will pump out about 384 horsepower, 376 pound feet of torque. Tesla says this will do 0 to 60 in about 4.8 seconds. Now let's go check it out. Okay, there's no ignition. Just put the car into drive and just slam on it. Wow, pulls very nicely. <laughs> wow, it took only about 4.9 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour. Very close and this dual motor just pulls very hard. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> Dimensions wise, Ionic 5 is shorter, narrower and lower compared to Model Y. Really love to compare the second row seats, but for today, let me just show you the second row seats of Model Y. There's good amount of legroom and headroom is generous as well. Very nice. Both cars do have flat surfaces, but I especially like that there's tremendous amount of space for my feet for Model Y. We also have a frameless doors. And window does not come down all the way, about that much. Pretty nice. Uh, we also have a two air vents, two C-type charging ports, nothing on the bottom. We also have a armrest with two cup holders, but it gets in the way. So I would like to have it horizontally placed. And we also have a gigantic panoramic roof on the top, but really wish there was a cover for the top so you can block the direct sunlight. From the side, Ionic 5 does remind me of Hyundai Tucson with strong and busy lines. But on the other hand, Model Y looks just like a taller Model 3. And let's see our testers wearing 255, 40 by 20 front and back. And why don't we check out the braking performance of this long range Model Y then. A little bit more speed. There we have it. It took only 118 feet to a complete stop. Felt very stable, especially with the battery on the bottom. Wow. <laughs> There's no gauge cluster up front, but rather we only have this large 15 inch screen for everything. So you'll need some time to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's pretty all right. And Tesla Model Y also has some fun features built inside. So I think your kid's gonna love it. But personally, I do like the ordinary gauges from Ionic 5. Okay, now let's go out and drive this. Model Y. So quiet and smooth and fast. <laughs> For the driving dynamics, I will compare after driving Ionic 5. For now, let's just concentrate on driving this Model Y. Okay, let's start with visibility. Except for the limited rear visibility, visibility is quite nice. We have total 12 ultrasonic sensors scanning the surroundings, and we also have blind spot alert system. So it's quite pleasant to be driving this 
Model Y. We do not have any engine up front, so let's just do talk about dual motors. When you do put your foot down in low speed, it just pulls very aggressively. And we have two motors, so it just provides very excellent grip. Oh my god! <laughs> Woo Amazing. Oh, that was scary. But when you do put your foot down on higher speed, it seems to fade away as you go faster and faster. So yes, electric motors do give you that instant torque, but it fades away as you go faster and faster. Still plenty powerful. And then there's the regen braking, but I just think it just comes on too strongly for Model Y. You see, when I let go of the gas pedal, it just slows down too quickly. Really wish there was a button to change the intensity, but it's just not here for Model Y. So yes, you will need some time to get used to the regen braking at first. Just too much, you know. I wish there was somewhere between. There's no gears to talk about, so let's just check out the handling capability of this Model Y. Wow! It's taking very nicely, excellent balance with battery on the bottom. Wow! <laughs> Woo. That was just too short. Let's try it one more time. Wow, dual motor is just providing excellent grip and instant torque just pushes the car out of the corner. What an amazing experience. Woo, woo. Very nice. Unfortunately, we do not have full autonomous driving here in Korea, but we still have lane keep assist working with adaptive cruise control it's a very seamless system placing the car right on the center and this is the most seamless system i ever used um, and of course in about a minute or so it's gonna say hey driver put your hands back on the steering wheel but look it's doing excellent job maybe it's more than a minute uh, maybe two minutes but it says you know in about two minutes or so it's gonna say Hey driver, put your hands back on the steering wheel. Huh. It's taking a very long time for some reason. But it does require you to put your hands back on the steering wheel. So it says apply, apply stir, slight turning force to the steering wheel. So it works very nicely. And this Model Y feels very stable even on very, very high speeds. Wow, oh my gosh, that's really fast. And good brakes, good brakes too, nice. All right, let's try D corner with model Y. It's taking very nicely. <laughs> I noticed the ESC comes in a bit late, uh, so you can have a little bit more fun, but actually has a great balance with the battery under the, uh, the car and also instant torque just pushes the car right out of the corner. What an amazing experience. Nice. So this is backup and turn signal. Looks a bit tall from the rear, it says dual motor and Tesla emblem. Right below that, you can open the trunk. Of course, motorized and trunk seems to be quite class competitive. We also have uh, this very deep storage area on the bottom and we also have one more storage area there. And you can use these levers to release second row seats. But sometimes it just doesn't work all that nicely. So you have to do a few times and it's a bit heavy to unfold. Yeah, so be careful. 
All right, guys, this has been our test drive with 2021 Tesla Model Y. Also hope to give you update on Ionic 5. So stay tuned. And if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you, guys. See you soon. Stay healthy and bye-bye. I was trying to find the uh, hazard button, but they placed it up here right next to the uh, reading lamps. And, uh, you know, why not have it somewhere here? We also have a toy box. You can also change the navigation to Mars. And boom box, you can actually make the horn sound as a fart. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Emissions, uh, like this. <laughs> Can do that. Um, tracks, it's actually uh, you can make your own uh, beat, I guess. Um, takes a little bit of time, but it's quite fun. And just uh, put it down anywhere like this. So, yeah, quite interesting. And let's just get out. And there's also romance. Uh, you have this. It not only shows the uh, the image, but air air blows a little bit faster uh, to make you feel cozy. Okay. And that's the Mars uh, Sana.